Hey YouTube, Wes here checking in with my vinyl inbox for the month of June finally. Um, late again, but getting it done when I can. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're all having a great summer. Um, if you're in the northern hemisphere here, uh, looking forward to a uh, solar eclipse coming up pretty soon. That'll be pretty cool. Um, and yeah, just been, been doing a lot of photography and other kind of things like that. So uh, still haven't had a lot of time to make videos, but getting these done when I can. I have a lot, actually have a lot on my computer that I've shot in the past few months, but just haven't had the chance to get edited and get done and get get uh, published. But uh, hopefully I'll get around to getting that done and get those out there. But I do have a backlog of some stuff, but wanted to go ahead and share with you my June, uh, yeah, June vinyl and CD purchases. I have a few CDs I picked up there were new releases for June. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Not too much this month. I cut back this month. Finally, um, I'm doing really good for July so far as well. And I, we're almost to the end of July now. So I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do well. So um, I think I finally, finally learned how to cut back. Maybe uh, we'll see how things go as the year progresses and uh, opportunities make themselves happen. But been pretty good so first thing I got here as I said a couple CDs uh, first thing I got here is the new Lord album melodrama uh, so pick that up to listen to just on CD cheaper way for me to uh, have a physical media kind of thing so that's what I'm doing these days for a lot of newer stuff instead of buying the vinyl uh, next thing we got here is Vince Staples Big Fish Theory I kind of did the uh, Kanye West thing here with the uh, the no cover, just a clear CD case with the CD in there. Uh, just wanted to check that one out. And the last CD I got for the month is the new Alt-J Relaxer. Uh, pretty cool stuff there. Been enjoying, been enjoying listening to that one. I've had this one the longest so far. And yeah, those been spinning these a uh, couple times here and there. Uh, to check out some new mu new music. So let's go ahead and get into the vinyl. As I said, not too big of a stack this month, just a nice small stack, so that's pretty nice. Um, first thing I got here was a new release that I pre-ordered that came out in June, and that is the new Halsley with her album titled Hopelessly Fountain Kingdom. Out of the Blake sleeve there, so you can see the cover. Uh, yeah, you know, female sort of pop kind of stuff. I like, like it pretty well. Again, a nice gatefold with a really nice uh, photograph in there. Like on our last album, I did enjoy that. Um, and this one's on colored vinyl, which is really cool. Her first album was on colored vinyl as well. Uh, this one is, I don't know, it's, I, it's, it's tough to say, but this one's really pretty as well. Um, it's this cool blue color with like, uh, it almost looks like fish eyes or something in the in the vinyl there really 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 cool pattern and uh, yeah really really pretty yeah. pressed it at GZ vinyl is where this was pressed at and there's a download code included as well so that is the new Halsey album been enjoying spinning this again if you're into that female pop kind of female modern sort of pop kind of thing then you'll dig this um, I know it's not for everybody but I I like it and it wasn't expensive to wasn't an expensive album, so pick that up. All right, next thing, another new release for June, something I didn't really know was coming out, didn't know was happening, but it just sort of uh, happened. I, I gave it a listen, really dug what I was hearing, so I went to the record store on Friday and grabbed this uh, the day it was released, and that is Planetarium. It says Suf John Stevens, Nico Mully, uh, Bryce Dresner, or Bryce Desner and James McAllister, a collaboration they did. Uh, and it is very spacey rock and roll kind of music, but it's got that Sufjan Stevens kind of vibe to it. Uh, not real familiar with the other artists. I know they're from, I can't, I can't even name the bands that they're from now. Um, I'm not, not real good at memorizing that kind of thing. Uh, but a really nice two LP set here. Uh, I'll show you the gatefold there with the lyrics inside. Uh, and then you also get these art prints. Uh, really nice. So, st 
stuff on both sides. I won't take the time to show you all of these, but uh, these are included. This was quite an expensive album. I think it was, geez. I know it was at least $30. I want to think, I think it might have been over $30. It was, it was expensive. But it's really cool. Um, and there's a photo of them performing live. And it does sort of have, this sort of gives you a Pink Floyd kind of vibe. And it's not, I wouldn't say it's Pink Floyd-ish, but it's 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 spacey and it's cool and like, like Pink Floyd is. So um, yeah, I say at least give this a try if you think you might be interested. Uh, it is on 4AD black vinyl. Not really sure where this was pressed at. Doesn't seem to be any kind of markings or anything on here to let me know where it was pressed at, but uh, it's, it's 4AD and they do a pretty good job and it does it does sound good. So that's uh, Planetarium, cool new release and uh, glad, I got a, glad I got this. It's a really cool sort of late night listen. Been enjoying that. All right, next thing I have to share with you today is the Vinyl Me Please album of the month. They did a new release for June and that is City Music by Kevin Morby. I wasn't familiar with Kevin Morby at all before getting this album uh, from Vinyl Me Please, so I did not know what to expect. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of not so into this. It's kind of all over the place musically. Uh, it opens with sort of an electronic art pop kind of sounding song, and, it, and then there's like garage rock sounding songs, and then there's like these soulful, soul soulful kind of songs that are like Van Morrison stuff. It's like, it's just all over the place and it doesn't seem to have any cohesiveness to it at all. So yeah, I don't know. I guess it's sort of the, the different aspects of the city or something, I guess, you know, you get your different, different parts of a city that have different vibes and stuff. And yeah, just not really, not really digging this very much. I spun this again last night, just, to try to give it another try and just really not not feeling it at all so uh, yeah this was kind of a kind of a letdown for me i'm sure there are people out there that like it however uh, they did do a nice uh, booklet with lyrics and photographs and stuff you know sort of nice deluxe kind of packaging include a download code and then the inside of the sleeve or the jacket is uh, printed as well, kind of a nice touch. And then the vinyl itself is pressed on this beautiful orange and white cream sickle kind of vinyl. Uh, somewhat matches my shirt here, <laughs> but yeah. Um, and this is pressed at GZ Vinyl as well. I think, I think uh, Vinyl Me Please is pretty much exclusively GZ Vinyl. Uh, for their pressings, uh, but they have been doing sort of outsourcing their mastering. I think uh, getting some some higher end uh, mastering engineers to work on their releases, and their recent releases have sounded really good, um, including the the one for July, which I've been spinning a lot, which I'll talk about in next month's video. Uh, so yeah, that's City Music by Kevin Morby. Uh, I believe it was a new release for June, or at least very recently released. And yeah, I'm struggling with it a bit. So if you have any suggestions on, on what I'm supposed to be looking for in this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But so far, not really for me. Okay, in this last little stack of vinyl here, I have to talk about are some pickups from the local Half Price Books sort of like store called Second and Charles. Uh, went digging there one night after dinner as we like to do sometimes and uh, picked up a few things was digging through the dollar bins found a few things in the dollar bins that are usually dollar bins are pretty interesting there uh, I got an extra copy of this Don McLean self-titled album I uh, wasn't gonna pass that one up for a buck they were originally trying to sell it for seven dollars and it didn't sell so it wound up in the dollar bin and I grabbed it uh, next thing I picked up since we saw Melanie at the Florida Folk Festival earlier this year, I've been kind of on a lookout to pick up her albums and picked up this Garden in the City by Melanie. 
We've seen this one many, many times in my years of digging, but never actually grabbed it. But now since I've seen her play and kind of got a better feeling for her music, I decided I wanted to grab these when I can find them cheap. So for a dollar, grab that. Uh, this next one I've been looking for an upgrade copy to for a while now, and I think this is probably it. This was not a dollar. This was four ninety five. dollars Okay, there we go. Wings Over America, still in shrink, has the hype sticker on it and everything. Uh, really nice. Really glad to have a nice, clean copy of this, so grab that. Um, I sold some books that night as well, so I was able to pretty much get all these records for free. Uh, just with some books I had finished reading, didn't want any more, uh, so that that was nice. And these last three are a couple, a few new new wave records that I found that I was really excited to find. First thing I got here is Ultravox with Rage and Eden, and this is a UK pressing. This inner insert kind of thing, cardstock thing here. Um, as well as a poster. So that's a pretty cool poster. And then there is the vinyl itself. As I said, UK pressing, really nice and clean. Uh, paid, uh, what was this? What was the price on this one? Uh, this was $6.95. So not cheap, but for, for what it is, it's definitely, definitely worth that price. Uh, to get a nice clean UK pressing that has the insert and the poster and all that stuff with it. All right, next up was a, another Ultravox pickup. Uh, this one was $4.95. And uh, this is a US pressing, and this is Ultravox's Vienna. Uh, 1980 is the date on this one. Pretty cool. And that's on a white chrysalis label, which I have never seen before. I don't, it's weird. I don't, it doesn't say anything about being a promo, so I don't think it's a white label promo or anything, but just a, a weird white label that I have not seen before. That's a new one for me. So yeah, I was really happy to pick up two new Ultravox releases that night. Uh, really enjoyed what I've heard from them so far, so looking forward to getting into these two at some point. Okay, and last but not least, another piece of new wave. This is Split Ends with Waida, I think is how that's pronounced. Yeah, definitely a Split Ends album from the cover art there. They seem to keep keep with a theme on their cover art pretty well. That's on the uh, A&M Records label. It's pretty cool, Al Hertz. Al Hertz label. Uh, as I said, hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a great summer, enjoying some music, and getting outside and enjoying some sunshine. Um, we got some, some some liquid sunshine going on out there, as uh, is typical for Florida. It's uh, it's not all palm trees and sunshine here, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, great night, whenever it is you're watching this. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments, and we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.